hello everyone now in this tutorial we will see how we can update existing record in this mongodb so we can go to our visual studio code and here we can see we have type def and then resolver so we have to focus mainly on these two things type def and resolver in type def we have mutation and using mutation only you can update you can delete now create article is fine let's say we can use the same and then i can say that i uh, want to update the article update article and here the parameter should be what things we want to update on which particular id we want to update so i'll write id and then i can say id and uh, then article <coughs> so id and article we need these two things as a input parameter uh, as a parameter and then it should return also the article so here we can add question mark also if you want so now in the mutation we need to only do this thing and then we can copy it go to the resolver and here we have article so now we can do the same thing and uh, we can create update article in this update article same thing we can do we'll write parent and then arguments and here we'll use so now we'll have to add comma now you can see we have article update article method is created under mutation then basically we need to simply do return article dot find by id and update find by id and update this method is already available in mongodb you don't need to do anything this is available in mongoose basically and uh, we can use args arguments dot id as one argument one parameter another parameter will be argument args dot article input so these two parameters we need to pass from here and uh, then we can say update an article this is one argument we need to pass here one more argument that is new equal to true once you will do that new equal to true your update feature will be ready just save it and uh, then we can restart our <coughs> server and then let's check so we have some issue here syntax expected column after found id so we'll go here and then we can see id okay so instead of comma we need to add here a column save it and then run it again now this is started let's go here refresh it everything will be just saved just we need to you know we need to make it comment so that at, at a time we have to use an only one part so let me make it comment this one also <coughs> and we have to write under mutation so i am going to write again mutation in this mutation basically we have basically uh, update article in this update article first thing we have to pass is id and then we'll add here id so for that maybe we can go in mongodb just click find and here we have so let's say uh, in this one i am just copying it this id and uh, we'll put it here first parameter is id second parameter should be the article input basically so similarly i can do here article input and this should be one object in this object we can write title is so currently we are 
trying to update this one so title is learn mongodb and then content is blah blah so i can say learn mongodb database and then i can say content is this is test database now we have completed id and article as an input and then what response we want so in response we need title then we need id and then we need content it doesn't matter where you will write i mean precedence will not matter but whatever things you will write accordingly you will get the output also now click and here you can see the output we are getting if you are getting output that means actual database should be updated now you can see here mongodb database this is one which is updated and if you will send the complete query then also you can do that i'll just select it and uh, then we can say query in this query i can say articles in this article what i want i want title then content let's there's the two things we need send it so you can see the output so in articles we have first object is mongodb database then learn graph and then java books so these three objects these three document is available in the in the articles articles collection which is available here although if you have not created the database and collection and first time you are trying to send insert request create request then it will create that particular collection and then it will insert data so you this is not mandatory to first you can create database and, and do this one it will create by default whenever you will send the first request now in the next video we will see how we can delete record based on the id